Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to prepare the tables. In previous video, we have created the name range. We have created the list box also, combo box data validation also. In the uh, sheet, I have removed those list box since they are irrelevant for my data, data uh, dashboard creation. I have just uh, rearranged this page. So uh, we are, this, uh, this is what we have done in last video. So we have created using the index function and count if function. We have filled these uh, matrices wherever text box were mentioned. Those things we have we have got it here. Uh, we didn't check whether they are dynamic or not. So we'll check it again using this data validation. If we change any number, automatically these numbers will change. So these are all employee related data. That's why they will change. So if you see these things till here, that is employee related data. We will just color it for your reference. Uh, you can see other things will remain. These things will remain constant. This is at the company level. At uh, um, said uh, it is at the overall. So it will. These things will not change. So they are static. They are a fixed one. These things will not change. And these things will be dynamic. So when we search about one employee, these details will appear in uh, dashboard. That's what we want. We have prepared this list accordingly. We have prepared the data set here now next one in this video we are going to prepare the tables so department wise table so department wise table we are going to prepare so there will be department name so first of all uh, why uh, just mention uh, why table because when I click about I search about one employee, I want to know what is the, his department status, what is the revenue, what is the uh, how, uh, how many employees are there in the revenue uh, in the department like that. The department related information I should get it in the dashboard. So that is the idea here. That's why I'm creating the department dash uh, this one table. So I am going to show it in bar chart for the relevant information I want. So I want one department name obviously. Then I want to know <coughs> how many employees are there in that department. So total employees. Then I want to know average sick leaves the employees are taking in that department. Then average salary the employees are drawing in that particular department. Then I want to know um what is the uh, total revenue yeah the thing is that uh, before we decide these matrices why we want to since we are using bar diagram these amounts figures will be different so we have to be careful uh, whenever we decide the uh, information the employees will be in hundreds Sick leaves will be in tens, every salary will be again thousands, revenue will be in thousands. So those things we can't add, I mean, we can't show it in one bar chart, it will be uneven. So what we will do is employees, we will show it separately because we are having a branch wise employee count. So that I will remove it now. So average sick leave we can show. Then. Uh, Yeah, average sick leaves we can show, average experience we can show in that particular department. Then I will go with the revenue or okay. But revenue I will convert it into crores, revenue in crores so that uh, it will be in decimals and uh, it will match the bar, bar chart. So, department, so these are the three information i want to uh, get from each department okay now department again this should be dynamic that means i am not going to type department name here as the as i click on employee name this department detail should come that means i will keep it as dynamic so equal to department so ankit's department is r and d 
so i want that reference so automatically rnd comes so if i change the number here it will become sales department automatically so then relevant data set should come here and accordingly our graph will change so sick leaves average so i want we are going to use if function here so here i am going to use average if function so because there is a condition i want to calculate average sick leaves of the department which is mentioned in g14 cell okay that is a condition i am giving it's not like entire company sick leaves so I, there is a condition that of that particular department so i am using average if so average if it says range range is my department in that department there are five departments in that criteria of g14 cell that is marketing what is average range where is the sick leaves column is there we have created name range right so we not we need not go back to raw data sheet and select a sick range column i will just type sick range a sick leaves so name range is key so i am explaining this here in the department i am going to uh, select that particular department which is there in g14 cell in this example that is marketing department in the marketing department i want to check i want to see sick leaves of that average so these are the condition department in that marketing department in that uh, there are 23 to 25 columns are there in that sick leaves column of those sick leaves average i want to find so that is what i want to calculate so average i will get 7.69 on an average 7 to 8 days uh, in that department employees are taking leaves of 7 to 8 days that is the meaning of this so i will keep it uh, as a whole number not as decimal there is no meaning of 7.7 in days so i will keep it as 8 days similarly experience so equal to again average experience so i will use average formula average formula only so the explanation will be equal to average if i want to see in that department list of this department marketing experience i think i have mentioned it as experience in the name range experience average experience of the employee yes again i will keep it as whole number how many years of experience on an average in that department 10 years experience employees are there so it is a ex mo mo most experienced department maybe will come to know later so this is how we are going to use the average if function next information i want total revenue total means obviously sum equal to sum but the condition is whichever department comes here that department revenue i want so we are using condition that is if you calculate the total if calculate the total if department department which is a marketing department okay so i want to in go to department in that go to marketing department of that marketing department i want revenue so i think i have mentioned it as revenue yes revenue place a tab close the bracket and so you can see here 18 lakh 50000 yeah 18 lakh 50639 so i want to convert them into crores that means again if i go back to edited sheet if i go to revenue i think i didn't mention the yeah if i go back to raw data that revenue is normal i think monthly revenue, that 
this revenue is monthly revenue of the department so you can see monthly income yeah so what i have to do i have to convert them into yearly since we are going to show the yearly data into 12 so again continue in the formula bar i am typing here so it will be used uh, easy to uh, type so into 12 so what happens it will become yearly revenue so now i want to convert it into uh, means i want to show it in crores that means i have to divide it by crores one crore seven zeros so i am converting it to annual revenue then i am converting it to, i want to show it in crores so so it, that means 2.22 crores revenue generated by marketing department again i want only two decimal point of uh, two place points of uh, place of a decimal point 2.22 but it should be in rupees symbol so i will right click on that format cells i will click on currency decimal points are two correct rupee symbol we got okay so rupees 2.22 that is a crores so this is how the department table is created so i want to check whether they are uh, again all these things are uh, dynamic or not means as we change the employee name whether this marketing will become hr or uh, sales and whether these three information changes or not so i will go back to and let zoom out once i will click here so you can see here 892.33 all are changing r and d is there sales you can see so this becomes dynamic as the na name of the employee changes this information change so this is your table creation so this will video will be lengthy so i am uh, uh, dividing into two parts one is about creation of table in next video i will show how to create the uh, graph so control c again i want branch wise detail branch wise also i want to see correct so department wise is done branch wise is there so this one will become branch so these things will be removed and now again branch should be dynamic whatever branch is appearing in this list Dhabi, it should come here so now the same formula i am going to use so here i had used some if formula okay. so same three formulas i am using it here again i will not mention so equal to average if So earlier it was department, now it is about the branch. So branch containing Abu Dhabi in that sequence. Again, equal to average if branch containing Abu Dhabi, that is G18 cell, comma, experience. Here equal to some if branch containing Abu Dhabi in that revenue. I have to again close the bracket, convert it into year so asterisk 12. Then I want to show it in crores divided by 1 crore. Same thing, copy paste, control B. So, so branch wise, now it is become nationwide. How much in India, how much in UAE? So, nation wise, this one will become nation. So, again, that this cell should be dynamic equal to nation I think we didn't add nation in this column yeah 
so i will add one more row here since we didn't mention in the matrix is nation yeah so nation will be equal to index nation array comma a2 that is where the data validation cell is there so you will get nation here added one more row here now nation so equal to to this ue now again same formulas average if Range if open bracket nation range G twenty three cell comma cycles equal to average if nation G twenty three is not to get selected g23 comma experience equal to some if nation g23 Growth. So that is your revenue. Uh, yeah, revenue. Convert it into yearly. Uh, my number lock was off. Yeah. Divided by. I want to show it in crores. this is how we can prepare the table using if function in next video we will prepare the bar charts for this table